Hello, hello. Welcome back. Uh, so, uh, while I was editing, I could kick myself for basically giving the guards literally everything except the one thing that we all knew had a password on it for them. So, we're gonna try this again. And if it's a super short one, that's okay, because I've got a final. Like, very, very soon, and then we will back be back on track to do some other stuff. Stand aside! General Pug sent me to question the prisoner. Oh, sure he did, laddie. And I'm the general's daughter. Right, the general's daughter. You're at least as pretty- oh. I'm not gonna laugh at that. Stand aside, I say! Do you dare laugh at the king's own questioner? <laughs> I will- King's own question, is it? I think this lad is plumb Barney, that's what. Crazy as loony is. Ooh. That's a fun animation. You fools! I know the password, it's Bluey! <laughs> Fantastic. Your royal question hood, sir. That's more like it. Maybe I won't have you beheaded after all. Beheaded. Wow, okay. Hi, hello! You are pacing, sir. Let's have a little chitty chat. Turn, turn around, Pepper. Please turn around. Come to get you out of here! Get me out of here? <laughs> and how do you propose to do that? Those gods may be idiots, but they're not fool enough to let me out. I'm going to rot in here. And I hope that man who's responsible, that pig-headed Ben Franklin, rots somewhere else for all eternity. But Ben's better now! We did this kite experiment, and... Bah! I'll believe it when I see it. He's lost his mind, boy. He's taking the whole of the British colonies with him. My mother always warned me about him. But did I believe her? No, of course not. Bah! Lazy, good for nothing, <laughs> sitting around in the hot tub all day. Never a thought about what he's doing to fair Philadelphia. Never thought about what he's doing to me! Humph! Oh my god. I love it. I also love his, like, this little stride animation is super nice, but you need to turn around. You need to face somebody when you're talking to them. Don't be friggin' rude. I'm just gonna stand in your way. Don't even care. Well, remember how he used to be. He's obviously a fucko right now. I found these... around. I have a sneaking feeling they might interest you. Nothing much interests me this days, lad. But I'll look of it. I'll look if it will get me get you out of wow. You just really want to be mad, which is fair. Ooh, song change. Oh, Ben's love letters. Where did you get these? Oh my. Oh Ben, my, but that scoundrel can write. Yeah. So, you really did figure out who I am then. Can't fool a reporter, ma'am. I suppose I really do love my husband. He was a great man once. I'll never get past these centuries. I best say my prayers, lad. Oh. Oh, now they're gone. Okay, fine. Guess what I have? Oh my god! <laughs> the fucking dramatic reveal! Oh my god, Pepper, I love you. Oh, but I don't see why they would detain you, Mrs. Franklin. You are smart lad. Let's go! <laughs> That's absolutely amazing. What a disgrace. That man deserves to hang. He certainly does. Well, let's go. Here now, hold it. Hold it right there. Where did she come from? You can't go taking prisoners out of the shed. This woman is no prisoner, you fool. I took her in with me to identify poor Richard. Well now, here now. You you never took no You never took nobody, Cecil. Watch your dead negative, Cecil. I most certainly did take her in with me. What's wrong with your eyes? You didn't never take no lady in there. What the hell? Cecil! Okay. In production, did they flip around who was upset about double negatives? B 
because it was definitely Cecil who was pissed about them. Well, so how do you explain the fact that we're coming out if we never went in, huh? Well, when you put it that way. Whoa, brilliant. Good! Now maybe I won't report your bad vision and total confusion to the general. <laughs> what a face to land on. Yeah, as I suspected. That was the end of the thingy. We're gonna have a nice little scene. Ben. I refuse. Mama! Aw, little huggy hugs. That thing? It was burned to the ground by lightning. Thank heavens. Oh, my Deborah, I thought you were lost to me. Yeah. So, wife, where exactly have you been? Sally and I have been out of our minds with worry. Tell you all about it in a while, my dear. But now I find that I am sorely in need of a bath. I suppose you'd be mad. <laughs> he's got a missing dog and he's been such a blessing to us. Sally, you're so good. I love her little ponytail! I don't know what Pepper face her. What is wrong with you? Nothing? 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 We just let people walk out and I'm just gonna stand right here and do nothing? Hmm. Anyway. What was the iron lightning rod on Ben Franklin's roof used for? Uh, the same thing that every lightning rod is used for is to attract lightning and keep it from hitting the house. True. The rod kept the lightning away from the house. Yes. Oh. Boop, boop, boop. Which of these communications? What was the. Was... I don't need to read, I can math. Which of these was the method of communication in the colonies? Um, yes. Yes, and we already have this one, so all? Yes. Great. I'm really sad we don't get to hear his howl. What did Ben Franklin have to do with the fire departments? Um, he, he did not do either of these. And he would not oppose them, so I guess... I didn't actually truth this one. This seems the most likely, though. Yeah! True. Ben originated the idea. <sighs> yep. Get that up and up. Oh god, that's a lot of text. Oh, it's so tiny on my screen. What did Ben Franklin have to do with public libraries? Okay, he invented the concept of borrowing or circulating library. He called for the death penalty? Okay. I believe that libraries should only be for the rich. He invented the first traveling lit. Get fucked. Okay, so, like, all of these are completely ridiculous except A, so I guess that's what we're gonna do? Although I wish I had truthed this one, I don't even know where I would have truthed it. Because it still seems... Yeah, okay, that's that's noble, but why... What... Why... I guess... No, no, I know, I don't... <laughs> I object! <laughs> I object to the idea... That, like, literally you could never borrow a book before Ben Franklin was like, Hey, everyone should have a chance to read. I'm gonna look into that. I don't buy it. Which of these things did Ben Franklin not invent? Um, I mean, that has his name on it. We already saw that in his thing. I guess that's a thing we saw. He definitely did not invent the printing press, because that was, like, well before him. Correct. Yes. Many years before. Get fucked. Ooh. Oh, look at this nice little fucking thing. 
Act 5. Pepper visits the Constitutional Convention. Or... The key to an old Ben's heart. Things to look for in this act! Gout! Nice. Uh, we already did the good cast, so that's fine. Unusual uses for a kite. That's fun. Yeah. The Constitutional Convention. Eyeglasses, yeah. Get advice from Ben. Sure. I have a feeling we're gonna get that whether we want it or not. <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna click and see if there's a little thing at the beginning, because I just want to make sure. I don't miss anything. Come in, lad. I've been trying to write a new pamphlet, and I must help the people get back to the good old colonial ethics of hard work and diligence. You want to talk to me about diligence? Persevering and careful in work, hardworking, industrious. Okay. It's not as cool as I thought it would be. But don't you worry your head about that. What are we going to do about that dog of yours, lad? I'm pretty sure that Lockjaw is being held in Penn Mansion. Can you just go ask for him? You're a pretty important guy in Philadelphia, right? Well, I suppose so, but that wouldn't help us anyway. I have never had any influence with General Pug. I never liked the fellow, nor he I. Nor he I. Then we'll just have to raid the joint. Haha! <laughs> I appreciate your enthusiasm, lad, but we need an army to take Penn Mansion. It has more guards around it than Ima has dresses in her closet. I doubt that! I'll sneak in, then. I bet I could slip past all those sentries. If only I could get across the river. I think we can take care of the river. I know we can get you in. It's getting you out I'm worried about. If only we had someone to back us up. Well, why don't we ask the help? The colonists to help. I am quite sympathetic to your plight, lad. But I don't think the colonists are likely to take on armed redcoats for the sake of a dog. If only there were another reason for them to gather at Penn Mansion. Well, if you think of anything, let me know. I'm going to work on this pamphlet. As if I wasn't a fucking rabble-rouser the entire fucking time and wouldn't immediately already know what the fuck to do to rabble-rouse an entire crowd. Fuck. Anyway, I'm gonna go stand over here, turn face the camera, and- oh, to the side. Slightly to the side, please. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah, stare into Ben's soul. Distract him while he's writing. That's perfect. Okay, so I'm gonna go get ready for a final. And uh, when all of that is over, you will see me again. <laughs> Hopefully, I do as good as I did on this quiz. Uh, cool. Anyway, I hope you all are doing great. I'll talk to you later. Bye!